<coughs> Excuse me. Um, pardon me, I'm getting ready for a workout, but I am making ice cream and it's just finishing up. Um, did a peanut butter flavor. I used some of my PB2 um, powder and put uh, about a couple, about a quarter of a cup in with my normal mix of Dream Whip, um, half a cup of sugar, some vanilla, a cup of heavy whipping cream, and two cups of 2% um, milk. And I'm getting ready to chop up some peanut butter um, cups. And it just stopped, so I'm going to use the food chopper and do a quick just coarse chop of these. And of course I forgot my scraper. Let me grab that. I've got my handy um, leak proof bowl. I've been storing my ice cream in that. So, let me scoot these over. Sorry about the view. Alright. I see why my friend uses her sweaters because it makes it so much easier to grab. And let me unplug my food. Where's my, there's my towel. Makes it hard to take this off when you have cold hands. There we go. Okay, sliding off the ice cream maker lid. Perfect consistency. Let me try to pop that off. Use my scraper. Now you can store the ice cream in this bowl. Um, but I actually have it, and I don't recommend it. That way you don't have to worry about um, not using metal on the bowl. Um, you can scrape the interior. So this way, that's why I'm using my scraper. I'm using one of my flexible cutting mats. And I'm just going to mix this in. And let me show you the consistency here. Let me flip the camera around to make it easier. Okay, so it's a nice soft serve consistency. And now I am going to flip it back around so I can set it down and pour it into my leak proof bowl. Let me try not knocking it down. Um, I am not a professional. And my scraper will get everything out because that's what I love about these scrapers. My ice cream bowl will be clean. So I can clean it and put it right back in the freezer because we've been making ice cream plenty. And this is making eight pretty good sized servings just to give you a heads up. Uh, my family of four is able to have ice cream two days. Now, when you store the ice cream, you want it to be in a little more shallow pan and you want to actually cover it with plastic wrap so ice crystals don't form. So I'm going to take just a little bit of plastic wrap and put it over to where no air is on it. And I've actually been um, Putting it also in a gallon size bag, it does not close, or wrapping it in plastic wrap, so then that way it does help to keep where the ice cream's creamier and it doesn't crystallize as much. And there we go. So I will um, hopefully chat with you all later. I'm loving the ice cream maker. I think we're going to have to do some an ice cream cake here soon. Um, I'm taking recommendations for flavors if you have any. Um, I've gotten really good. The um, Butterfinger that I made the other day was delicious. So, all right, y'all. Thanks for joining me, and I will chat with y'all soon. Thanks. Bye.